many of us see this, we fail to realize that these types of people are not all what they appear to be. We, we have been seeing this phenomenon that we call transgender. But what I've realized over my time of studying this, I realized that most people fail to understand that there are people that we think are men, but they are not men. They were born women, and that is called the female to male transgender. Uh, I see a lot of transgender uh, videos and I see things like that, but I, I rarely see people touch on the topic of a female to male transgender. We're going to bust this wide open today, man, the Chief Michael, man. Y'all know I don't play no games. I'm going to show y'all the truth. There is a thing called female to male transgender. We're beginning to see more and more of the sickness like this. We're seeing the sick stuff like this taking place. We're seeing guys that a lot of our youth look up to doing fruitcake stuff like this. And you wonder why. But as I've shown you guys on my Facebook page, some of y'all that are friends with me on my Facebook page, this guy's suspect. Future, huh? Future of what? They, they playing with us and showing us the agenda. They putting it in plain sight. He is the future. This guy's possibly a female to male transgender when you look at this guy. He's from Atlanta, and that's a hotbed for this type of perversion and abomination. This guy is standing here looking like what we would think is a homosexual. But I truly think that this guy future is a female to male transgender because we all know that Sierra, his supposedly baby mother, is a male to female transgender hands down and they all stick together so where you find the male to female you will find the female to male they are an item and if you think i'm crazy and that this idol future and the rest of these people that you think are men in this industry we call the music industry the uh the entertainment industry as far as acting and, and R&B and anything that's a part of that engine goes. If you think that these people can't be female to male transgenders, like I always say, let's see. Now what you're looking at here is called a trans man realness heritage ball. This is a contest where people that were actually born female come out and compete in the competition to see who looks more authentic as a male. Now, for you sleepwalkers that want to come on these videos talking about, this ain't real, these people ain't no trannies, you sleepwalking. Your stars are all inverted. They are inverted. The he is a she and the she is a he. This is law. This is, this is something that has to be done for you to be in the limelight. You're not going to get a record deal if you're not one of them. You're not getting no modeling contract unless you're one of them. They have infiltrated society in ways that you don't understand. Every one of these people that you're seeing in this contest are people that were born females. Look at this guy in the striped black and white shirt. That's a female. A uh, person that was born a girl. They were transgendered from birth. As they start growing up in their adolescent years, their parents, as soon as they got able to get on the testosterone they were put on it and that's called a prepubescent transgender they were inverted before puberty so that's prepubescent 
Every one of these people that you see that really look convincing like that, they likely were inverted as kids. You're looking at bearded ladies here. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at a bearded lady. So next time you suckers think you can come talking about these ain't transgenders, go back, get under your cover on your bed, and go to sleep. Because you're sleepwalking. You ain't ready to wake up, man. Tell yourself, this person you're looking at right now couldn't be one of your favorite rappers like Future. Tell yourself that. And, and uh, I want you to understand how stupid you is when you think something like that. Look at him. What makes you think your favorite rappers that we actually see are dealing with male to female transgender? Now, this is no question. We got people like T.I. Tiny Harris was born a man. I don't care if you don't like it. Tiny is a male to female transgender. Every other member of the group escape are male to female MTF prepubescent transgenders. They are tranny kids. So what the hell would that make this guy TI if he's messing with a male to female transgender? It makes the, it makes him two things. He's either a homosexual male or He's also a prepubescent, female to male, transgender people. I learned to follow the tranny. When I see, okay, I confirm that this is a man posing as a woman. I then turn right to see who is this person's companion because they are likely inverted too. Look at this big old dude standing right here, man, with his hat cocked. Plenty of you females done went to the club and got your box ate by one of these people and you ain't even know it. It was a female. They wasn't even interested in trying to do nothing else with you. Plenty of y'all know this. Plenty of you females hanging around in Atlanta. I done hung down there myself. That's when I got up on this because I started seeing it and I'm not no sleepwalker. I'm really in the streets. I was really in the streets at this time. I'm going to Atlanta doing things I shouldn't have been doing. But I was going down there doing my thing because I did music at the time. And I was going down there. I done kicked it with all type of people. I done synced all type of people you see on TV. And I started noticing something strange about a few of these people when I was up close to them. And that's when my eyes got open. Now, can you understand what you're looking at here? So, when we're going to review a few of these people that we call stars, you won't have the audacity to come telling me that this is not possible. Every person you're looking at on that stage right now was born a female. Now, we're going to rebound back to future. Take a look at Sierra to the death. Now, look at the square jawline on this MTF transgender. Look at that jawline. You can cut a diamond with that jawline, people. Look at the shoulders. This person has male shoulders. Look at Sierra. Now, look over at Future. He has an oval face. And he looks like one of those people in a trans man contest. No way around it. Take a good look at them. This was an inverted couple. They put these people together. And no, Sierra did not have no children. The crazy thing about it that most of y'all don't understand that a person that been studying this for a while understands now is that a FTM is a real female. I don't care how they look in appearance. They are a real female with ovaries and they can have children. And they do have the children. And if you pay attention, you will notice these things. We got people that that want to say, oh, he got an Adam's apple. But you don't know anything about testosterone, do you? 
when you get through watching this video, go type up testosterone, testosterone Adam's apple for me and see what happens when these people start taking tea. They can grow an Adam's apple that looks just like that one on Future's neck, really low on his neck right there. Look how oval this person's face is. Look how this person Harry is. That looks like a female to me, man. I always thought this person looked strange. And I know why now. Because Future is likely a FTM. A female to male transgender. Or he's a gump. Because Sierra is absolutely a male to female prepubescent transgender. Now let's get back to this this TI character because what I've learned to do is look into when I think somebody suspect the first thing I do is look at their companion okay so me looking at tiny made TI suspect because once I started realizing that all those members of escape they always look grotesque to me they always looked at funny to me i'm like these some funny looking chicks that's because they are not real females they are what we call male to females mtfs you don't believe it you don't know anatomy look at this thing right here first thing i notice is how high the belly button is the waist indentations are below the belly button. That's a man. Look how high that belly button is. The indentation of a real woman is above the belly button, people. I don't give a damn what you think. That rule cannot be changed. There's no exception to that rule. This what you're looking at on this screen right here is 110% a MTF transgender. So that makes TI suspect. TI is either a female to male or a Forrest Gump. Let's take a look. As I just showed you, a clear shot of Tiny Harris's midsection. Now, we're going to look at this. It's, it's indisputably the case, people. Look at the female. You see the, the waist indentation is above the belly button, family. And the woman has an hourglass shape. Now, we're going to go over to the male. The, the, the uh, waist indentation is below the belly button. And this person on the right side of the screen, that's a male, has a straight up and down torso. No hourglass appearance. Let's look back at Tiny again. Now let's get back to this, this TI character. Because what I've learned to do is look into, when I think somebody suspect, the first thing I do is look at their companion. Okay? So, me looking at Tiny made T.I. suspect. Because once I started realizing that all those members of Escape, they always look grotesque to me. They always looked at funny to me. I'm like, these are some funny looking chicks. That's because they are not real females. They are what we call male to females, MTFs. You don't believe it. You don't know anatomy. Look at this thing right here. First thing I notice is how high the belly button is. The waist indentations are below the belly button. That's a man. Look how high that belly button is. The indentation of a real woman is above the belly button, people. I don't give a damn what you think. That rule cannot be changed there's no exception to that rule this what you're looking at on this screen right here is 110 percent a mtf transgender so that makes ti suspect ti is either a female to male or a forrest gump let's take a look 